Now, today's Through the Decades Retro Spectacle. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, the favorite of girls and boys. Everyone wants a Slinky. The Slinky was invented by naval engineer Richard James in 1943. James was stationed at a shipyard in Philadelphia, developing springs to stabilize sensitive instruments in rough seas. One day, he accidentally knocked one of the springs from a shelf and watched in awe as it walked from the spot where it landed down to the ground. The idea for a toy was born. James spent the next two years developing his idea, testing it out on his son Tom. James' wife Betty dubbed the toy Slinky, meaning sleek and graceful, after finding the word in a dictionary. The couple took out a $500 loan and had a local machine shop make 400 Slinkies. On November 27, 1945, they convinced Gimbel's department store in Philadelphia to let them demonstrate the toy, and all 400 sold out in an hour and a half. James immediately filed a patent for the toy and it was approved in January 1947. He quit his job to work full time on the project, developing a machine to produce slinkies within seconds and forming his own company, James Industries. James saturated the market with advertising and sales of slinkies soared. The Slinky Dog debuted in the early 1950s, a pup with a metal middle. It was followed by several other Slinky toys over the years to come. But James left the company in 1960 to become a missionary in Bolivia, and Betty took over the company, infusing new energy into the product. She also insisted on keeping Slinky prices low so more children could afford one. Betty sold the company to Poof Products, which made foam sports balls in 1998. But the iconic toy continued to thrive, and the traditional metal slinky soon had plastic and neon siblings. In 2000, the slinky was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. Today, more than 300 million slinkies have been bought, and sales show no signs of slowing down. <laughs>